Anytime you start talking to somebody else, you're building a relationship with them, whether you guys are doing hobbies together, whether it's a girl you like, or it's her, whether it's uh, someone you're in business with, you're building a relationship every time you have a conversation with somebody else. And you gotta just notice where you take your relationship with certain people. And there's levels to everything, so you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta know who deserves to be in a, a more, more of a relationship than others. You can have a conversation with somebody and know that you don't know, you don't want nothing to do with them. That that relationship's over. It, it's not necessarily like a title or anything. It's just the uh, the energy being uh, passed back and forth. As far as relationship goes, to relate someone that you can relate to, you know, and that you consistently are around. If you can relate to them. You're around them a lot. You have some sort of relationship with that person on whatever ground it could be. It ain't gotta be just women, it ain't gotta be, you know, you know, your family, your friend. If you're around them consistently, then you have some sort of relationship, good, bad, long-term, short-term, whatever. You're relatable, that's where relationship starts. If you're not happy truly in a relationship, it will ruin other relationships you have with other people around you. It's poisonous. So if you are happy in any relationship, whether it be mutual, you know, be it platonic, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got it, chef, right? You know, you me, whatever you, whatever you doing, however you dealing, if it ain't, if it ain't working for you energetically, sonically, if it ain't, if it ain't on that same frequency that you on, then, then by any means, respectfully shake it, quit, because it'll take away from you. It's, it's, it goes both ways, you know. Um, you need to put in your energy, you know what I'm saying, to to reciprocate um, with that. So I used to feel like my dad would try to push the things that he never did onto me, like wanting to be a fighter or like a boxer. And I feel like for a certain part of my life, I like misconstrued what I wanted in my own life because I thought I had to be tough. And since I'm small, I'm small Mexican, you know. I gotta be able to uh, to be able to fight, you know. I gotta be able to like say something and stand on it. And I and I misconstrued that with with just knowing myself and um, and just being myself, you know. Because I thought I had to be a fighter for my, for my dad. There's some kind of agreement to each other, to to that relationship. And uh, with that agreement, whatever you're agreeing to, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay up on that. And uh, so be careful on who you relate to. One of my cousins, you know, he started doing drugs because his, his baby mom did it. She was real pretty and she was getting high. And he started, started messing with her. And, you know, he was cool for a minute because he, he thought it was, he thought it was some, some, some player stuff going on. Eventually, the pookie pipe was passed. <laughs> And then that was his, it was over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then he started, like, now he's trying to play cool, come around, fun. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, the females are how you. Just imagine you fighting a dude over a girl and, and one of y'all die, and the other one go to jail, and she gonna talk to a whole new dude. Like, that's the dude. Yeah, matter of fact, it was a dude that she, that she said was her brother the whole time. She gonna really go off into the sunset with him every yard. Don't let no girl get you put in jail, man. Try your best. Try your best. Don't let no girl get you put on a t-shirt either. I mean, it's hard sometimes to break away from relationships, but it ain't always good for you, man. That that little hot box that they be giving up, or with that little that little eggplant emoji that the little boys be out there sending to them girls and them little freaky kids. Y'all gonna have a whole nother relationship in two years. It might work out, it might not. Just know that you're learning, like I said before. You know, everything you're doing is all a, a chapter in the book. Learn from it. And this is one of my little chapters right here. Just always remember in a relationship, one or the other is chasing each other for validation. So just make sure that you're not the one chasing. Make sure they're the one chasing for your validation. Simple as that. Because well, as, as, as a man, if you're chasing a woman's validation, you're going to get yourself in some situations that's going to make you look uh, goofy. Attract, don't be attractive. I mean, don't go looking for stuff. If, if you see a girl looking at you and you guys seem to like each other, then go for it. But it, don't go out your way to go for the prom queen every time. You know what I'm saying? So she going to break your heart. I say do what you feel, what you feel is right. Go with your intuition. 
you know, with, with any relationship and, um, you know, go with what you think is the right decision internally, you know, and you will feel that, you know that. You gotta think with your big head and not your little head. You know what I mean? And, and look, I, don't, I shouldn't have to explain that to you because <laughs> you should know what that means. However, that little head will have you going down the rabbit hole of something that you don't want to do. You know what I mean? Chasing, some, chasing something that uh, at 14, 15, even though we think we want it, we really don't need it. You get what I'm saying? And so, you know, um, because once it's all said and done and it's over, and them feelings go away real fast. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, yeah, just think with your big head, not your little head. It'll get you a lot further in life. Now, when you get to relationships too early, some things are irreversible. So just make the right, de right decision, man, or else it ain't gonna be about you no more. The show's gonna be. It's gonna change channels, buddy. Quick. What is it? Like? There's no more your shoes you first, start. no more your outfit first, no more you eat first, no more none of that. It's, it's really, it's, it's sometimes it gets drastic. Sometimes you, you might be looking for love and the person that you're dealing with is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a energy vampire. Somebody that, that was raised by people that might not have gave them the best tools to go out into the world with. So sometimes just take the relationship slow, learn first, learn life. You gotta recognize what type of person you have in front of you too. You gotta read their mind, you know? You gotta know what, uh, how do they think about stuff? How do they move? Like how, like, how would they react to these certain type of situations? And do I wanna be with somebody and put my energy into somebody that, uh, that does these things? You know what I mean? You gotta think about all of them. And that first red flag, get up out of here. Ain't no saying that. No standing. If you get about the circus, you don't gotta deal with the clown. You know what I mean? So get up out of here as soon as it starts.